hi you guys welcome to this video this is to help her do you want to send mass millions email with power mta server it's time you set up your own smtp ip rotations what is ip rotation ip rotations means means the process of changing ip addresses assigned to a particular vps network so practically it means if you are sending emails from a single ip you can easily rotate the ip using additional ips so instead of um sending with one ip assuming you want to send um a thousand let's say you want to send an hundred thousand emails instead of sending it with an ip that can easily get blacklisted or gets banned or gets reported or gets weak the software sorry the ip is, is going to rotate and send you send the hundred thousand you want to send using different ips which you've actually configured on your server so with doing this it makes your server more strong more reliable and sends faster so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up ip rotation on ubuntu all right this is a dedicated server i'm using a dedicated smt i'm using a dedicated vps for this work so, so the first thing you have to do is to click on all that here then you click on additional ips okay then it's going to take you to this place from here you're going to pick the um service you want to add for i've already picked this this is my um dedicated server and you pick your additional ip how many ips do you want to get you pick this and you're going to now i'm going for seven ips i'm going for seven here then i'll click on the next page then select the location okay let me just pick germany from this space then i will click on continue order okay so we are going for seven additional ips you can see you can confirm your order click on continue from this and it's time for you to make payments so you can pay with credit card or paper i'm going to pay with a credit card and once the credit card payment is done i will return back to this video so i can add my credit information okay right now so the, um, the the payment has been successfully made so it's time for us to just wait for the mails to come in then we can proceed but before we proceed i'm just going to log in my vps i'm going to log in on root okay then i'm going to put in the password and log in all right so this is the app the vps we're going to be using so why would it for them to process our VPS, our additional IPs? I'm going to continue with the script. All right, guys, if you are watching this for a very first time, don't forget you can actually get this full tutorial course either on how you can set up Power MTA on Ubuntu server, which is 5.0, just like this. Show it up to you. Just like this, you can see. This is 5.08 version. Okay, you can get in touch with us on my Telegram or you can reach out to me on my WhatsApp. And also you can get the full course on how you can run additional IPs, IPs rotation on your server on Ubuntu. Okay, so once all this is done, this is the full script for the IP rotational course, which you're going to be getting, okay? Now, the first thing we have to do is to run this command. I'm just going to be running the command one after the other. I've break down the script so it can be so easy for you. And there is a video that follows it, step-by-step -step video that follows it, okay? So, the first thing is open a new terminal from here. And running the first command is this, okay? Then we're going to note this going to note this okay. so on running the command to this part then i'm going to put in the network configuration right here after putting the network configuration then i'll save and i will 
run uh, an IEP rotation test on this. So still waiting for them to process my my additional IPs. Okay, guys. So if you want the full course, don't forget I've break this video. I've break it. I've cut out um the process, the script, the script and the commands which have been running so far before getting to the next stage. This is just a demo video. If you want the full guide, check the description below this video and get in touch with us for the full tutorial course. Now I got the additional IPs. These are the additional IPs. I'm just going to copy them out. Now that the IPs are ready and uh, my configuration is being set, I'll just copy the whole thing and go back to my script. Then I'm going to put it in the script. Just like this. Good. And I'll cross check it again for any error. So <clears throat> all is done. And I'll just save this. Enter, then control X. Check. Then I apply the bug. So which means the IP has been debugged and there is no error. It's running successfully well. Good. So running this next command line. Enter running this last command to check if our IPL has been added and you can see if you scroll up you can see forever 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 which means it's running well so after all this is done it's time for us to do the IP rotation configuration in our power MTA file okay so opening my power MTA file So let's just search for etc and pmc to locate the config file. So from here, I'll hit the edit config. Is this the previous config file? And this is the config file which I've actually done for this IP rotation. So I'm just going to copy. If you check from here, you will see the IPs is added and other things are added too. Okay. So and these um, VMTAs are added also. So I'm just going to paste them here. Then I will save. And I will close this. So once this is done, we'll check um, if the virtual MTA is running. So I'm opening a new terminal. So from here, I can say service MTA start see then we have an error okay so we can do the MTAD debug then we check for the error okay from here it says this file is no phone so I'm just going to my file and locate it if it's there or edit the file so after copying this name and we edit it Alright, this is my DKIM file, it now works. We can say service MTA stop dot this and okay stop and service the MTA start. then it's running well now so to confirm this i'm just going to copy one of these ips that we have in here on our additional ip i'm just going to copy any one okay then check if the monitor is running okay. i'm opening a new file for this and i'll put if it's opened the monitor, it means it's working, and you can see it's opened, which means our additional IP has been configured on this Power MTA server, and it's time for us to start sending. So, guys, thanks for watching this video so far. If you need a full tutorial guide on how to run additional IP power and on the on, on Ubuntu server, you can easily get in touch with us on our WhatsApp or on our Telegram. So I'm going to see you in the next. Thank you and see you next time.